The sigmoid function is a special one. It plays a crucial role in how neural networks learn and thereby driving the AI revolution. And equally fascinating, it describes the way in which fermions, such as electrons, arrange themselves when they get close to each other. The function itself, denoted as sigma of x, reads 1 over e to the power of minus x plus 1. And graphically, it looks like this. The reason why it is so prominent in many learning algorithms is due to its many interesting properties. It approaches 0 for x going to minus infinity and tends to 1 when x gets very large. And right in the middle, when x is equal to 0, the function is exactly 1 half. However, the most important property is the functional form of its derivative, which we will calculate here as a nice exercise. Thus, we take the derivative to x of the sigmoid function. First, we immediately see that we will need to apply the chain rule. The x to which we derive is encapsulated in this e power, which itself sits in this sum, which itself again sits in the denominator. Therefore, we work our way backwards, starting from the derivative of a fraction. Thus, the first link in the chain becomes minus 1 over the denominator squared. Then we derive the exponent, which simply returns the same e power, but with a minus sign, coming from the minus in front of the x in the exponent. Writing these parts together, we have already found our derivative. But, as is often the case, we will get much more insight if we rewrite this expression a little more elegantly. If we would leave it as it is, we would even miss the property that makes this such a useful function. First, we split the fraction into two separating the bracket squared in the denominator. Doing this, we can recognize this first fraction as the sigmoid function itself again. For the second fraction, we would also like to get some form of the sigmoid function. We achieve this by adding zero in the form of plus one and minus one. Then we can use this enumerator to split the fraction into one and one over e to the power of minus x plus one. Again, we can identify the sigmoid function here. Thus, we ultimately get that the derivative of the sigmoid function is equal to itself multiplied by 1 minus itself. And this means that when you know the value of the function, you immediately know its derivative, which reduces its computation significantly. And this helps a lot when performing the learning algorithms for AI thousands and thousands of times. If you enjoyed this short video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. And with that, I thank you for watching.